guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys what is on my iPhone. If you do enjoy this video please make sure you give it a great big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you are new here, turn on your post notifications and follow up my Instagram and without further ado let's get on into it. So just for reference I have got the iPhone 11 in the white colour have a clear case on it at the moment and yeah there's nothing more to say about it so let's dive into the phone so this is my lock screen it's just a marble brown affair and when you get into the phone it's also got the exact same photo in the background so on my home screen this is the only screen that I actually have on my phone everything else is like in the categories and all that sort of jazz. So I've got a Widget Smith calendar and I edit it basically and just it so it would match. Um, so as you can tell I've just got it for January at the moment. Obviously it changes when the month changes and it's just really really useful. Then I've got my camera photos planally which I've spoken so many times about, is the app that I use to schedule all of my Instagram posts and also I schedule my stories and it's just a great app, I just love it. Um, Unfold, which is the app that I use to create some of my stories for Instagram and I use some like layouts <laughs> I have bought and I think they're absolutely brilliant. Then I've got Lightroom, which I use partly to edit my photos and then colour tone which I use to edit the photos for the second time and then I use it to colour correct my video footage. Then I've got Instagram which is quite self-explanatory and then in the black heart folder I've got Facetune which I hardly ever use. I used to use it quite a lot because I had a very white theme on my Instagram for a while and then I just decided I don't want that anymore. It was just too much, it was too much effort to keep up and try and find things that actually looked quite nice in that feed, it was quite difficult. And then I've got Twitter which self-explanatory again, not already following me, follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. And then I've got the YouTube app and a YouTube studio. And then the three blocks that are on the right hand side are also, basically it's an app called Things3 which I absolutely love. It's a organising app and you can categorise things so I put the three categories. I've taken the things off because they're just personal things so I don't necessarily want to share them with you but I've got personal, social and cleaning so yeah, things that I've just got to do. And then at the very bottom I've got the phone, Things3, WhatsApp and the music app. And then if we go into my app library, we've got loads of things. I think the best way I'm gonna do this is I might just do alphabetical because you can't open all of the apps. So I think that's probably the best option. So in the A category, we've got Amazon, Amazon Alexa, Amazon Music, Among Us, which I have been playing non-stop recently. <laughs> I've got the App Store, Argos, Buffer, which is what I use to schedule my video tweet links. That seemed very difficult to say and it really wasn't. Then I've got the calculator app, calendar, calorie counter, which is great. Um, last year I did a whole few months where I was just watching what I ate. Not necessarily like stopping myself from eating things that I didn't want, but I, I just I just find out how many calories something would be just so I could sort of almost just realise what I was putting into my body. Trying to eat healthier as well. Then I've got camera, canvas. Canva Stories. Now Canva and Canva Stories I absolutely swear by. I think they're amazing. I've used them a lot for green screens for my videos. I've also used them in the past for my start and end screen things and also to make my thumbnails sometimes. So yeah. Then we've got Clay which is a stories 
app thing and I really really like it but a lot of the ones that I would love to use you actually have to pay for so I'm more more or less really I get ideas from the app of what I like so that's sort of why I've got it then I've got clock color tone compass contacts oh contacts cooking dash which is a game that I love and yeah I need to get back into it then dominoes because who doesn't love dominoes it dropbox and then I've got Etsy I need to stop with Etsy I buy way too much on there and but it's not necessarily a bad thing because I'm supporting small businesses so I don't feel like it's really a bad thing then I've got Facebook, FaceTime, Facetune, Files, Find My, Fitbit, which I actually need to re-download and I need to find where I've put my Fitbit because I really need to start using it again. Flight Radar 24 and then I've got my Gmail app, Go Gift, which I downloaded this year for Christmas. I think it was 99p or something and basically it like categorises your ideas and what you've bought people and where you're up to with like birthday and Christmas presents and all that sort of stuff. I just needed something to organize it because I was getting so stressed and it was so useful for the fact that I've got it on my phone and any time I needed it it was there ready for me I just loved it and then I've got Google Google Maps Greg's H&M which as most people know I am obsessed with H&M and then I've got Heads Up which I downloaded for New Year to play with my family and I've got the health app I've got image edge mobile which is what I use to transfer the footage off my camera onto my phone so I can edit it then Instagram iTunes store Lightroom Lloyds Bank, Lush, Mail, Matt, Meerkat, Messages, Messenger, Bonzo, Music. Music is what I use when I want to listen to a song but I don't want to have to pause it rather than playing it on YouTube. It's YouTube but you can close the app. That's the only way I can actually explain it. Then I've got Music, Nectar, uh, Netflix. I don't know how to pronounce this but I have really recently downloaded this. I think it's Nitcha. Nit I'm really sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But it's this beautiful, beautiful stories app and I just love the aesthetic of it it's amazing then i've got notes parkopedia which is amazing if you ever need to go and park somewhere you're not sure of and you don't know if you have to pay for parking or not download it and it tells you like everything you need to know how much by hour two hours and so on also if there's free parking times it's brilliant for that then i've got paypal phone photos pinterest which i've really been getting into recently I really like looking on Pinterest for just ideas and all sorts of that stuff. And then I've got Planoly, Podcasts, then I've got the Pollen app which has been a lifesaver for me for this last year. All of a sudden I seem to be getting very, like I don't know, last year I was constantly, like my nose was constantly flaring up and it every time it did it was really high pollen and it was just really useful to have and then i've got restaurant dash which is the gordon romsey version of cooking dash absolutely love that too it's really funny just really enjoy playing it then i've got safari settings smart remote which is a remote on your phone that you use with the telly then snapchat which i don't really know why i have it anymore because i'd never ever use it literally the only time i use it is when team snapchat send me a little notification and i'll just click on it and then i'll just not bother with it for months on end and i've got the spree card and then stories edit and then i've got telematics which is for my black box in my car then things tiktok apple tv tv guide twitter unfold voice memos vsco wallet then i've got water sort puzzle which i absolutely love and swear by it's a great game basically you just put the colours into the different things, you get the gist. I actually paid for it because I love it so much. Then I've got the weather app, what three words, WhatsApp, Widget Smith, YouTube, YouTube Studio and YouTube Tracker. And that is everything that is on my phone. So that was everything that was on my iPhone. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a great big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos. And if you can think of any ideas that you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments down below. But follow me on my Instagram and I will see you next time for another video. Bye.